All right, so up for today, I'm going to be making a tincture from these buzz buttons. If you'd like to see a kind of a tasting profile and a live reaction of eating these things, uh, go check out a video, I think here, here, yeah, probably. Anyway, um, so a tincture is basically an extract that uses alcohol to, to be the source of extraction. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work. Usually for uh, extracts, you have to uh, kind of bring out an oil, extracts oil from something. And these are kind of a, an alcohol-based um, chemical. So I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, I know vanillin is probably a similar, temp a similar chemical profile to this, uh, where it's, uh, it's kind of that uh, alcohol-based biological thing. Don't ask me for the science on this, I don't know. Um, but we'll figure it out how it works. If not, um, if this doesn't work, then, uh, well, I just spent like $40 on these things for nothing. So we'll figure that out in a second. So anyway, these are buzz buttons, Szechuan blossoms. Uh, they come in two varieties. Uh, one of them is, uh, comes with a little red spot on the front of them. And the other one comes in just like a yellow flower. And both the leaves and the actual flower itself are both um, neuroactive comp, they have neuroactive compounds and that creates this really tingling uh, kind of sensation. Um, and also has a, uh, an effect on you where it causes your entire mouth to water. It's very interesting. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is uh, creating an extract from it so I can use it in a home brew. So basic parts of an extract are going to be a immersion blender so we're going to go ahead and be able to break these up into small pieces. It's not necessarily for a, a whole, like a whole flower extraction, but I really want to get as much of this compound out of here as possible. Um, the actual Szechuan blossoms themselves, uh, I've had, we've had, I've had two. Justine's had one, so we're going to have it as a uh, 97, or actually, I'll take out seven. We're going to have 90 of these in here. Um, inside this solution, so it's gonna be very highly concentrated. So anyway, the last component is, of course, the alcohol. Um, neutral spirit recommended for something like that, so you don't inter interfere with the flavor profile. The spirit I selected was Sky Vodka. Um, it's relatively inexpensive and kind of has a very uh, light aroma. Not too ethanol-y, not too rubbing alcohol-y smell, and uh, I don't want to spend money to buy like Grey Goose or something that does a less aroma, because I'm making an extract. Um, so anyway, first step is to go ahead and put these guys into the uh, jar to be blended. All right, so the reason why I saved seven of these guys, rather than putting the entire batch of 100 in here, well, 97 in this case, um, is because if you're making a cider, uh, you kind of want that full experience. So this is going to be, I'm not gonna put the entirety of this in a batch, that would be absolutely awful. Um, but these are gonna be blended up and put in as an extract in secondary. And these guys are going to be added as a primary addition so I can get the aroma and scent of these into the cider so that we can have a multiple dimensional experience for a botanical cider rather than just having a one dimensional experience by having an extract. So multiple reasons to, to have different types of the same ingredient. Same thing can be done for like dried ginger and fresh ginger so that you can have uh, dried ginger added into a boil and then you can have the fresh ginger come out as you know, a fresh addition in secondary. It just matters what you're trying to accomplish. All right, so now I'm gonna add the alcohol into this extraction. I'm going to start with a, a very small amount. I'm gonna to go to about 100 milliliters on here at first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a first blending cycle, and then if it needs to add more alcohol to, to allow this to loosen up a little bit more, I'll do that. looks absolutely disgusting. Woo! Very strong 
smell of those flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. Uh, I'm about, I, I added about 550, 60-ish, oh no. I added probably about 60-ish milliliters uh, to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more uh, vodka, that is, and get a little bit more room for this extraction to work. Give it a swirl around. This is a very vile looking thing. It kind of reminds me of those uh, green monster smoothies that they sell in the stores. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste now and see how it tastes. Mm, has a very citrusy smell. I actually like the smell. Holy sweet Jesus. All right, that hits the mark for uh, did that stuff get out of the solution? My goodness. Whew. Oh. <laughs> I took a little small bit of it this time, and it's so much more powerful than it was last time. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more vodka to dilute this down, and I'm going to add probably to about mm, the two cups mark, maybe a little bit more, around 500 milliliters. And... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for a few weeks. And after we have this sit for a few weeks, we're going to go ahead and strain this out. Uh, getting all this gunk out of here and just have that pure extract. It's been about two weeks since our buzz button extract started. And now we're going to filter it out and get our final extract out of our, uh, our uh, initial uh, primary extract over here. So process that we're going to do for this is we have a clean and sanitized funnel, we have our buzz button extract, and we have some cheesecloth. We're going to put the cheesecloth into the funnel and strain the extract through it. The cheesecloth has been folded four times. We're really wanting to get a nice thin uh, uh, cat layer to catch all the possible particles. There's lots of little tiny particles and I can see them kind of floating on the top still. So we're wanting to get all of those out. We just want a nice smooth extract out of it. So. Go ahead and open this up and start dumping it into the cheesecloth carefully. I can tell you it smells very strongly of those, uh, those buzz buttons. Very, very strongly. About 90 of the buzz buttons fit into this extract with about 500 milliliters of vodka. So that is quite a bit. I'm just going to go ahead and get all that goopy bits out there. There's a bunch on the bottom. I yeah, just hadn't let that stay in the bottom. I don't know if that's going to uh, weaken or enhance the flavor if we uh, take that out, but I usually try not to strain the bottom of uh, uh, whatever remaining volume we have. Just just doesn't seem good to just kind of like squeeze your tea bag type of thing. It's not good. Okay, just gonna let this drip normally. We have this nice clear fluid on the bottom. All right. And set this aside, over here, and it certainly smells like it. Let me go ahead and get a sample. Okay. Yep, that definitely is it. That's really, it's actually not as strong as I would have expected it to be, but it is still very potent. So this is a perfect extract. It's not quite too good, not too strong, not too light. So uh, I think this is going to be good to go. We're going to use it in the cider. It definitely does the job, and the extract worked for this. So pleasantly surprised. Um, we're going to set this aside, and a few videos from now we'll be making a cider with this. It'll be it'll be fun. Anyway, that's it. Uh, Buzz button extract. Finally. <laughs>